In this video, I'll be going over all of the survivor perks in my Dead by Daylight Overwatch Workshop mode. Our first survivor is McCree. His perks are Balance Landing and Object of Obsession. Balance Landing grants McCree a short burst of speed after jumping from a high platform, while Object of Obsession reveals McCree and the killer to each other whenever McCree looks in the killer's direction. Next is Genji. His perks are Dead Hard and Unbreakable. While Genji is injured, he can use his Deflect ability to perform a short dash that turns him invincible and allows him to pass through the killer. And Unbreakable allows Genji to recover from the dying state once per match. However, this ability cannot be used while being carried or while on a hook. Next is Hanzo. His abilities are Sonic Arrow and Decisive Strike. Although Sonic Arrow isn't from Dead by Daylight, it's one of Hanzo's signature abilities and fits well into the game. It enables him to reveal the killer's location if they're within a small radius of his arrow. And Decisive Strike gives Hanzo the ability to stun the killer with a melee attack after recovering from the dying state. This can only be used once per revive. Next is Junkrat. His perks are Diversion and Slippery Meat. Diversion works by forcing the killer to perform a 180 degree turn when they're hit by Junkrat's concussion mines. This makes them great at disorienting the killer for himself or his allies. Slippery Meat has two components to it. The first is that it grants Junkrat the ability to escape bear traps by himself. The second is that it gives Junkrat an extra burst of speed when being injured by the killer, which helps him stay slippery during a chase. Next is D.Va. Her perks are Lightweight and Boil Over. Lightweight literally makes D.Va lighter and reduces her gravity, making it possible to reach certain areas other survivors can't. This also allows her to bunny hop around the map and make less noise with her footsteps. Boil Over gives D.Va's melee some punch and knocks the killer up when she attacks them. While this can greatly disorient the killer, it comes at a high risk of being within melee range. Next is Mei. Her perks are Ice Wall and Head On. Ice Wall, although not from Dead by Daylight, works kind of like a pallet. The killer can either wait for it to break, or go around it. It is a powerful ability, however, so its duration has been reduced significantly. And Mei's second perk, Head On, allows her to stun the killer with a melee attack after hiding inside a locker for 3 seconds. Next is Farah. Her perks are We're Gonna Live Forever and Deliverance. We're Gonna Live Forever allows Farah to take hits for her allies if they're within 10 meters. This perk deactivates if Farah is injured. Deliverance rewards Farah for altruistic actions and grants her one use of her jump jets after she either takes a hit for an ally or revives them from the dying state. Next is Soldier. His perks are Urban Evasion and Sprint Burst. Urban Evasion allows Soldier to crouch walk at the same speed he runs, which muffles his footsteps and lets him evade the killer more easily. Sprint Burst gives Soldier an on-demand speed boost, allowing him to outrun the killer for a short time. Next is Sombra. Her perks are Spine Chill and Dance With Me. Spine Chill activates whenever the killer is looking in Sombra's direction. It appears as a purple ring around her and gives her early warning that the killer may be heading her way. Dance With Me activates Sombra's invisibility for a short time when she vaults a window, giving her a chance to lose line of sight with the killer. Next is Tracer. Her perks are Lithe and Firecracker. Lithe grants Tracer a burst of speed when vaulting a window, allowing her to outrun the killer for a short time. Firecracker drops Tracer's Pulse Bomb at her feet. If the killer enters its detonation radius, they suffer a blind and a stun. This can also be used to save teammates who are being carried by the killer. Next is Widowmaker. Her perks are Stakeout and Quick and Quiet. Stakeout charges Widow's ultimate when the killer is nearby and she's not in a chase, which allows her to reveal the killer's location to her team for a short time. Quick and Quiet grants Widowmaker a burst of speed after standing inside a locker for a short time. Next is Anna. Her perks are Empathy and Anti-Hemo Syringe. Empathy reveals the killer's location to Anna for a short time whenever they injure a teammate, which provides her with the information necessary to either keep herself safe or go in for a rescue. Anti-Hemo Syringe instantly revives down survivors, making it one of the most game-changing survivor perks. However, it can only be used within a short distance, and its cooldown is one of the longest in the game. Next is Mercy. 
Her perks are We'll Make It and Self Care. We'll Make It allows Mercy to dash to downed allies and increases her healing speed by 100% for a short time. Self Care lets Mercy heal herself without the help of a teammate, although only at 50% the normal speed. And our final survivor is Moira. Her perks are Flashlight and Adrenaline. Moira's flashlight can blind and stun the killer if they're facing her direction. She can also blind the killer while they're carrying a survivor to force the killer to drop them. Adrenaline triggers when the last generator is completed, and grants Moira a speed boost and revives her if she's down, or heals her if she's injured. So that's it for the survivor perk breakdown for my Dead by Daylight Overwatch game mode. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, make sure to subscribe for future content.